Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today I'm going to be reviewing the Logitech G304 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse basically and I've been using this for one year so I'll be sharing how well this is or other caveats so stay tuned. Well this mouse is basically for gaming, a very cheap price, uh, high performance wireless mouse and it has a very minimal latency I have to say. So let's talk about the build quality of this. So basically this is, uh, well it's a plastic design and it also has a symmetric design that's really nice which one thing for sure it doesn't have that bump right here as you can see it is, it's just very plain and if you like this kind of plain design minimalist design and also suits your hand pretty well for any kind of hands left or right handed small big doesn't really matter it's gonna be fine completely fine out of the box it had a matte finish basically but now if you look closely it's very glossy as you can see it's kind of glossy and the color is not exactly black anymore because uh, it faded it decayed over time but that's not a deal breaker because the performance remains the same which is the most important thing about this mouse the g304 uses the logitech's lightspeed wireless technology which is well one of the good ones obviously and also uses a hero sensor which is pretty good because it's very uh, responsive and I, I haven't faced any delay whatsoever literally in gaming or even browsing i mean browsing is not even an issue but gaming yeah that's what we're focusing here the mouse has a maximum dpi of 1200 and the minimum of 200 so yeah you can switch around take the one that suits you and you should be fine also this is the dpi button right here you can switch it right here like this as, it, as you can see that color is changing so you can switch around also you can use the software for that or even the onboard memory module which the most interesting part you don't even need the software you just can just you can use the software to determine which uh, basically which color is which you know and that you can just set it and you're good to go no need to use the software at all it also comes with the six programmable buttons here there's two in the size right here and obviously the common ones one two three four and then five six these are the common ones and well you really need more than that so you should be fine unless you play uh mmorg games like wow or other type of games maybe you need more buttons then i guess this is not for you but for fps gaming fine completely fine now if you look into the dimensions here the height is 116.6 millimeters not that tall pretty good width is 62.15 and the depthness basically is 38.2 millimeters but the weight is a factor here if you use the battery included with the duracell battery of course the weight will go up to 99 grams so yeah basically 99 grams is not that light also not that heavy either it's on the mid range of a weight so not bad not bad I don't, i'm not really complaining and it really feels light it doesn't feel like it's too heavy so it should be fine unless you want light mouse then i guess you should go for the you know lightweight ones otherwise this is completely fine because also remember this is quite cheap it's just only 40.79 dollars or basically uh, 39.99 around 40 dollars right so one of the most cheapest wireless mouse you can find in the market so that's why i really recommend this cheap very good quality and it doesn't have any issue we'll look into the performance very shortly let's talk about the tracking here the sensor they're using is basically the hero sensor which is pretty effective i have to say very responsive it doesn't have any spin out issues so that's really nice so uh with max acceleration we're talking about 40 g's so that's quite good it's not that big of a deal so basically five millimeter per second speed here we're talking about so that's quite quite fine it has zero smoothing or acceleration or filtering so yeah there's no issue whatsoever so that's that's why i recommend this for because usually the cheaper mice don't really have good sensors but logitech really impressed me in that field so let's talk about the durability of this mouse so basically if you use the battery the AA battery it's gonna last you around 250 hours basically not exactly 250 hours in my experience it was two months exact with intense gaming of course not obviously not uh, like straight two months gameplay obviously not maybe like five hours a day so still not bad i have to say 250 hours kind of makes sense to me but uh, logitech does also claim that for normal usage it's gonna be uh, running up to nine months but again that's normal usage not gaming usage so you need to keep that in mind so for for gaming obviously it's gonna last you two months with the battery and as i said the caveat it doesn't have any charging capability so that's a problem uh, if you run out of battery then i guess you need to switch quickly otherwise 
um, you're gonna lose in the game, I guess. Okay, so let's talk about the cons here. Basically, if you look into the material here, it wasn't like this. Like, it was more of a black color. But now if you look closely, if you won't notice that black is more of a grayish gunmetal-y look. Not exactly black. So the color will decay over time. And as I said, I've been using this for one year. It's not surprising that the color has decayed. Which isn't a big deal breaker because it's just a color. And there was a logo right over here, which again... Uh, you can't really see that anymore. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. But yeah, basically the color grading is just not that good. The material though is good, but the color grading is not that good. The second con is that it doesn't have any charging port. As you can see, there's literally no charging port. So basically you just rip it off. You put a battery right here and you're good to go. No charging capable, just a battery. Unless you can buy a battery that you can charge externally which i guess you can do that but again like if you don't have rechargeable batteries then i guess you to use these triple a, double a batteries or yeah that's the only way to do it no charging capability and the third one which may not everyone will get this issue is that the scroll will issue my scroll will has some issues that when you do it quickly it's kind of doesn't response but when you do it slowly it does response enough so basically if you're using the scroll wheel for switching weapons i would say don't do it because it's not worth it and again it, i mean usually if you want whoop you know switching weapons if you're using this for just normal browsing like this scroll wheel shouldn't be a problem because as i said for normal browsing you're not moving this too fast it's just normal pace right so it should be fine for browsing but for gaming if you're using this you know for quick switch of weapons that's gonna be a big problem the fourth con is that basically the grip issue i'm gonna explain what that is all right the thing i, I want to talk about is basically if you have a bigger hand like not mine i have a smaller hand so if you have a smaller hand then it's probably easier for you to grip even with the palm grip or claw grip it shouldn't be a problem but if you have a bigger hand i wouldn't recommend using it with a uh, palm grip because as i said there it doesn't really have any like higher up right here so you don't really have the grip here that you can you know achieve or you can you know, put rest to right so i don't think palm grip is that effective whether claw grip you don't really need the palm right so you're using the claw so it's much easier for you to aim but palm grip don't don't do that it's just not worth it honestly but if you're going for a palm grip i wouldn't recommend this also if you have a bigger hand and you like palm grip then you all can already tell that it's not gonna work for you but claw grip smaller hand or bigger hand doesn't matter should be fine all right so that is it for today i hope you enjoyed the review and also what do you think about this mouse do you think this is the perfect mouse for your hand and of course for your choice and of course your budget is it good enough let me know and of course if you're buying this do tell me if this review helped you a lot for understanding this uh, re uh the mouse quality here so i'll be really much appreciated and also give me some feedback because this is my first review here so yeah thank you guys for watching